Hello and welcome to Dragon Tech Gaming. I'm Dragon Tech and this is episode 8 of my modern mini builds. And in today's episode I'm going to show you how to build this excavator or digger. Um, yeah, so let's get started over on this section. I've already laid out. So you need to start off with um, some tracks. So you need two stairs, one on top of each other like so, and then remove that block. And then you want one, two, three, four slabs, and the same at the top. Four, like that. Then you want, well it's actually easier with a block, so you want an upside down stair and a stair on top, and then you can replace that with a slab, like so. Then you can leave a gap of three, so one, two, three, and then another set of tracks, like so, so one, two, three, and then I'll put a full block so I can do the other stairs, like that, and then save across the top, so they, that's the tracks done. Now you need some black wool or some dark block that you can put oh, that you can put uh, to block off the tracks a little bit so you can't see anything underneath like that and then you want one, two, three of slabs and then all the way down the middle like so then same on the back. One, two, three, like that. Now you can put a line of these note blocks at the back, or iron blocks would do fine. Then you want to fill this in with any block really. Because you're not going to see that. And you want a line of slabs at the front, and then uh, stairs going all the way around. So they join up like this, all the way around. And then fill in those two as well. Now cover them up with slabs. Cover the uh, back blocks up, and at the front I've used these blocks. You could just put yellow wool blocks or something like that if you don't have this texture pack. And then an upside down stair. Now for the cab. It's a line of three by uh, three. Like so. And then three on the back. Oh, I need some panes. So some black glass panes and then go all the way around the front like that and then stone slabs across the top and double these two front ones up for the lights like so. Now for the arm you want one two and three and a stone step on top facing outwards and then oh then one two one two three and then a stair facing that way and then just one two going downwards now for the the shovel or the bucket underneath, upside down stair, two upside down stairs, three upside down stairs, like that, all in a row. Now you need to build up any block really, just there and there, get rid of that one. And I say that because you need a block to, oh, a block to put against like that, so it wraps around, like so. And you could get rid of them. 
and that's your bucket. You could put a line of slabs on the front to give it a bit more shape. I'll just start that now, guys. So, yep. Put three slabs on the front. Gives it more of a bucket shape. Um, so that's pretty much the bulk of it done. Now for the design parts. You want some signs, some um, glowstone, and some some iron frames. So you place two iron frames on top with glowstone in it. Like so, and you want. And a line of signs on the front. Like so. And a couple on the back too. Oh, I forgot to do the exhaust. Yep, so a couple of stone walls. And then two more above. Like so. And then some fencing. Top. For exhaust. And I didn't put a window in the back either. Okay, so a window in the back too. Now you can cover all of the arm of the digger or excavator in ladders just to give it that metal strut look and two more of the front like so and that's about it guys one excavator so yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe I'm Dragon Tech goodbye for now